It is Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas from our family to yours. I'm going to get this loaded up tonight and then you'll see the vlog. There's actually going to be two vlogs. There's going to be a lot of vlogs for the rest of December. Um, anyways, I, this is the front porch and I live on a, off of a busy street so that's all the traffic you hear. Alright, I put down two mats because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So the Ray Dunn one says welcome or Mary with the wreath and then um, the Johanna Parker one you can see is the little cute um, snowman. Then with the steps, these are just my, you can't really see them, but they're like, there's my little cheapy ones from the 99 cent store Family Dollar. Anyways, all right. Oop, hold on, hold on. All right, right here I just put one of the gingerbread from Dollar Tree and just kind of hanging out. And this is from Michael's. I actually have a candle in there, but it's not lighting up. This one should light up though. So, hold on. I thought I had everything lit up for the shoot. But don't worry, the house is like so lit up it's not even funny. <gasps> there we go. So that's cute. And those are the wreaths from Bed Bath & Beyond, that awesome sale. And then we have that from Dollar Tree and then some gnomes. That little reindeer guy is from Home Depot. This is from Family Dollar. That's from the 99 cent store. And that is from Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, let's go in. All right, and when you come in, um, the um, foyer is all lit up. Everything is cute. And I use the dog bowls as a key holder. So you can see that. It says Santa Paws. And then those are my backdrops. When I talk about backdrops, I use the little cheapy weepy signs as kind of like a holiday wallpaper that, you know... I don't care if the signs are warped. I just care that they provide a backdrop because it's more, it's more fun to look at that than the blank wall. All right. This guy is from Family Dollar. He's a cutie. He was only $5 and he lights up. And then that candle from Dollar Tree, that little camper, Dollar Tree, that boot is um, Pioneer Woman. And I threw in... A strand of lights and then here's our the tree and I just decorated it just a little bit old school very very simple and then going up we have the old school pictures from Walmart and we also have that one from Walmart as well I absolutely love the old-fashioned sorry about the camera the old-fashioned um, Santa Claus so down here is kind of a lot going on um, I have my bit of floral, and I have those molds from Walmart that everyone went crazy for. I have the gingerbread. I have the gingerbread house. And then I have those, that snowman. I think that Santa Claus is from Dollar Tree. So I like to tell you guys where I get the stuff so you guys can see how I do incorporate Dollar Tree, like with the regular decor that I buy, that you guys see me buying. This sign is from Target Dollar Spot. It just says North Pole Blend Hot Cocoa Served Here. And then that's from Dollar Tree. The little snow glows from Dollar Tree. I think those pine cones are from Dollar Tree. It's like the little red glitter. And that little plastic lantern from Dollar Tree. And yeah. And then my sister gave me have a cup of cheer. And we, we put down two carpets because this foyer gets used a lot. And then Home Sweet Home from um, At Home. And this one's from 99 Cent Store because... Yeah, it's just used a lot. It's not a big foyer that I have to work with, so I have to make, I have to maximize everything. All right, right here, I'm just going to go really quick. Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree cup, mug with the little snowman from Dollar Tree. This is all dollar stuff, and I keep all the cheap stuff right here because this is like where Fancy gets her leashes on and her harness, and if it's something breaks, like, you know, it's okay. Got it from the dollar store. You know, I'm not going to freak out. Um, family Dollar, the Santa Claus. Oops, hold on. Yeah, so, like I said, I don't freak out about that stuff. Same thing, like, with right here. 
just Dollar Tree right there. Then we go into Ray Dunn. Then we go into Hobby Lobby right there. So that is the foyer. And to the right is all of Fancy's harnesses and all of her stuff. And then I got the big bells from, I think, Hobby Lobby on my door. And then this one up there is a snowman. That's also from Walmart as well. All right, we're going to keep going. And, I, and let me back up so I can show you guys my dining room. Ta-da! See, I do pull it together. I do pull it together. And if you've been with me, you're going to know why I'm so proud of this. Look at you guys. Yeah, there's stuff on the table, but let's not mind that. All right, you guys have seen the table a million times. There's, like, really no need to go through all of it. Um, I'm going to be using these platters. But I will show you this. I did get this at a thrift store a long time ago, and it's from Hallmark Christmas 1974. I thought that was a really pretty plate. And, yeah, that is... The tablescape for Christmas 2022. Um, my husband got me these beautiful flowers. And what's cool is I can keep that pick, number one, that gold pick. But I can also keep this, ceramic. And then he also bought me these flowers. And I will be keeping that pine cone. Fancy. There's her dress. Is she not cute? Is she not? a? She's so stinking cute. Fancy. Over here. Over here. Fancy. Okay. She doesn't listen all that well, you guys. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. I must say, I have to think, I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite tablescapes that I've done. I love, it just has everything I like. You know, I look at this and I just, I get happy. I love the Santa Claus and all of the um, gingerbread and... I know that the tear tray is like just overflowing. There's a good shot of fancy right there. And here is the table lit up. And then there's my beautiful painting from Hobby Lobby or canvas rather. Absolutely adore it. And if you're new and you're just clicked on this video and you're like, who is this crazy woman? We live in a one bedroom condo under a thousand square feet. And so I love to decorate and I have to maximize every, every inch of this place. All right, this is hanging over my freezer because we did not want to redo the Christmas wall. Plain and simple, plain and simple. All right, this is my hot cocoa station and it is maximized. Beautiful, beautiful DIY from Lee. Thank you so very much. It is amazingly gorgeous. Look at that. It's perfect. And then I have hot chocolate. We go together like hot chocolate marshmallows. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. All right, this is from Dollar Tree from last year. Picked that up. My Keurig. I bought a new Keurig. This is all Ray Dunn stuff. And this is, of course, hot chocolate Christmas sprinkles. I actually have another one over here, too. And then this is from Ross, but it was really from Michael's. Candy canes. And there are candy canes in there, along with marshmallows. More marshmallows. The Peppermint Shop also have this gnomes has some um, gingerbread and some old-fashioned um, candy in there Santa's cookies Ray Dunn holding some tea hot cocoa Holly Jolly holding goodies just a whole bunch of stuff and like I said I really have to maximize this whole area because I don't have a big space but this is my coffee bar so you guys know you guys when I say coffee bar slash hot cocoa bar this is what I'm working with a very very small area all right over here, I just kept it really simple. Um, we have Ray Dunn, Christmas treats, Santa paws. This one is super cute. I forgot about that. I pulled that out, the peppermint with the gingerbread. I think that's Big Lots and the um, Christmas tree. And then the snowflake. I think that was Big Lots and then reindeer snacks. This teal truck, I think, came from Hobby Lobby. And I just use it for Christmas. has peppermint um, napkins in there. And then I have the um, drying mat gingerbread as well. And then I also have a gingerbread um, wax warmer. And then we have that old fashioned, um, I think that's from, I don't know where that's from actually, but it's super cute. And let's see. Yeah, that's what's going on right there. All right, my tabletop. We are baking a cake, by, I mean, uh, a pie, my husband is. All right, I do decorate my, my oven. So we'll get into it. All right, this is Ray Dunn. These are from 99 Cent Store and Dollar General. This is all a menagerie of coals. 
Tarja A. Not sure where I got that. That is from um, Hobby Lobby. These are from Coco Diva, Mrs. Claus Kitchen, Ray Dunn. And then all of that back there, the fresh baked gingerbread milk and cookies, that is from Dollar General, Hobby Lobby, Johanna Parker with the snowman, Hobby Lobby. And then they're sitting on Mary and Joy. And sorry, you guys, that is um, Ray Dunn. So, yeah, I have a really small kitchen. Like I said, I live in a one-bedroom condo. It's just my husband and I and our big 70-pound chow. Now, over here is the bar area. And what I like to do is since, you know, like when I'm washing dishes and stuff, I don't want it just to see the back of everything. So I kind of turn stuff around and I look at stuff. As a matter of fact, hold on. So I have some of my favorite mugs. This one is from um, the, the vintage reindeer is from... Big Lots. And that one, I don't know where I got it. It might be Big Lots. I'm not sure. Super stinking cute. It's holding some gingerbread candy. And this is actually really good. I, I got these at Dollar Tree. And honestly, I'm going to get more next year because they're really good. And they, and they will look cute on gifts if I can get this. Look at how cute this is. You can put that like on top of a card, top off a gift. I only bought one pack. It came with three gingerbread and three, um, what you'll call it. Christmas trees. And then Baby It's Cold Outside. That's from Rachel Garzinski. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And then we also have these little guys right here. The marshmallows. And, and then I also have a gnome right there. Because like I said, I like to see stuff. And I have a little gingerbread guy looking at me. And this is what I see. And a little Merry Christmas pillow right there. And this is the bar area that separates like the den from the kitchen. All right. Let's go. This is Fancy and my husband's lair. This is Fancy's area. And let me back up. I, I know I have a lot of pillows. I know, I know. There's my babies. My two Cabbage Patch kids. In fact, let me put them closer together. I don't know why they're so far apart. These are my babies. Okay. Sorry. All right. So let me back up a little bit so you guys can kind of see. All right. Starting to the left, we have gingerbread. Yes, we do. Gingerbread. And then we have the old-fashioned Santa. Ho, ho, ho. These are just um, pillow covers because I just don't have enough room in this. It, even even with the storage unit and so forth, I said do not have enough room, you guys. You all know that. Um, and then that little lumbar pillow, that was Walmart. It's an inside or outside cushion. And then the two little ones, that poinsettia, is in the... Red truck coals, I think. I don't know, maybe wrong. And then more pillow covers. And then that little blanket, that throw, just picked up at the 99 cent store a couple years ago. All right. Over here, I know. Okay, this one that lights up is um, from the 99 a long time ago. North Pole Skate Rentals. I know it's spelled wrong. Ross. Candy Canes, Confections. And then O oh Snap, that's from um, Aldi. That's from Ross, too. And then we have this big mirror up there, and that garland is from the dollar spot from Target. We just strung it. I had my, my, my husband strung it up there. This is, the snowman is from Dollar General, I believe, or Burlington, one or the other. We wish you a Merry Christmas. That is from Ross. That beautiful um, wreath is from Michael's, but I bought it at Ross, and it says joy, and we just stuck a candle from Dollar Tree in the middle of the O. My, my, my husband did that. That was a good idea. I like that. Then we have Santa Claus. I think that's from Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Then we have that one, the Candy Cane Factory from Aldi. It's reversible. I chose to keep the red and white going. Then we have another picture that lights up from the 99 cent store. And in the back, holding that candle is a fox. She's from Fall, but I bought two of her because I thought I lost one from Home Goods. And then we have the little vintage girl blow mold from Walmart. And then we have another Santa Claus from Ross. Those were highly coveted. I did get two. Um, then we have a Cabbage Patch Kid. We have the Chunky Garland from Five Below. We also have another, um, another gingerbread, and he's from Home Goods. And then that little tinsel gingerbread is from Dollar Tree. We also have another 
wreath, and I believe that is from Joann's. And then that North Welcome to the North Pole, I think that was, I don't know where I bought that at, but I put it in the middle. Hold on. I like to keep Americana stuff out at all times, so that's my um, 4th of July camper, red, white, and blue. And some stuff I forget to turn on because there's just so much to turn on here. Um, all right, I think this is Hobby Lobby, the tree. And then we just have some pine cones and a tinsel um, sleigh and then another little reindeer. All right, right here I kept really simple as well. We just have the tin um, from Dollar Tree from last year, the gingerbread, blinking light, the snow globe, wax melt. And then this baby actually opens up. And it's a cute little, it's really pretty. And then in case anyone gets cold, behind that pillow are throws. And then there's all the wax melts right there. And I have some more cute pillows. Oops, this one's upside down. Little things you don't notice right before you're going to film. <laughs> but it's cute. I like it. I like every single pillow. That one I bought at Ross with the bells. Candy Cane Lane, the hot chocolate. And then Merry Christmas with the cute little gingerbread. Then we have Mary right there. We're going to use this as an outside trash can, but I wanted it to be festive because we're barbecuing. All right, let me back up so you guys can see what's going on right here. We have Santa Claus. Yes, we do. He's holding a candle from Dollar Tree. I put that in his hand. I thought it looked cute. We have the two trees from Bed Bath & Beyond that light up. And we also have this present that I bought. Well, it's from Michael's, but at Ross. Bought it at Ross. That silver lantern is from the 99 cent store, Moving Fancy's Bed. That little... Um, wagon. I forgot what got the wagon. I think Hobby Lobby. I bought, again, that's Michael's, Ross. That Let It Snow sign is from the 99 cent store. And the Big Santa is from Walmart that I bought for like $25.99. And then we just have, I just put that up. I had my husband put that on as a screensaver so it looks nice and cozy. Up there we have Fresh Gingerbread Baked Daily. I think that was from At Home. Merry Christmas. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. Coming over to the Christmas wall, we have Hot Cocoa, Hobby Lobby. I believe the gingerbread is Hobby Lobby. Santa's Workshop, I think, is Walmart. Made with Love Gingerbread Bakery. That is actually um, Walmart. No, um, I'm sorry, Ross. To the left of it, at home, Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. Hobby Lobby, Amazon. Hobby Lobby, Ross, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. All right, right here, there's a lot going on. Let me move Fancy's bed out of the way. All right, these two sitters that are super cute are from um, Rite Aid. This, I believe, I bought at Big Lots. These are from Rite Aid, the two gingerbread. That, of course, is um, Ray Dunn. These two blinking guys are from Dollar Tree. This was actually a soap dispenser, but I, I wanted to use it in my display, so I just put that right there. These are blow molds are from Walmart. That gingerbread is sign is from Hobby Lobby. The tinsels from Five Below. This is actually this pink tree is from Hobby Lobby. Someone told me to watch out for a pink tree from Dollar Tree. I already I have like two pink trees. Um, these are the gnomes. This is from Lee. She sent, made that. Awesome. Um, and then we just have lights going on. Just giving it like a nice little cozy effect. Let me back up. So yeah, the wall will look different next year. But we just didn't want to mess with it. I mean, I know... And I know this is not everyone's way of decorating, but it's my way, and and I really like the way it looks. The only thing I would change is I need two pictures that I should have hung vertical on the edge on either side of that fresh gingerbread bakery. So I'll have to work on that next year. All right, and this is my tree. This is the tree. It is a live tree. I actually flocked it. My husband picked out the topper. He bought it at, I think, Walmart. And down below, we have the presents from, I think, 
either 99 cent store or Dollar General, and then the Snowman and the Gingerbread House are, um, which we'll call it from Walmart. And hold on, that little area I just put a little topper that we're not using anymore, but it still lights up. Be Mary the Sleigh from Ray Dunn, and then we have a really cute gal from um, Hobby Lobby. So let me back up a little bit more so you guys can see. It's very, very Christmassy in here. And then this is what my husband sees when he eats. I did his little area. Like I said, I don't do like a really expensive. I mean, nothing super expensive here, you know, it just, but you add it all up and it costs a lot. Jeez. I don't want to think about how much I spent, but, um, I don't put like anything that I really, really like right here because fancy has a big old keister and she swings it everywhere. She literally moves our whole couch. So that's Ray Dunn. This is like 99 cent store, just some lights. Those two red trucks are from like Dollar General and 99 cent store. All of this is like from a dollar store, whether it's Dollar General or Family Dollar or the 99 cent store. And it's fine. It's cute, you know? So this is the view from the couch. Very, very Christmassy. And sorry if I'm making you dizzy. And then we're going to get into the bar. And of course, I'll show you my tree. There's a lot of trees in this house for being so small. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm very proud of the bar. We're going to start to the left. Thank you. I absolutely adore this. It's from Hobby Lobby and friends of the channel gave it to me. I, I told you that I wanted to be able to see it and I am looking at it. I love it. This I bought at Home Goods or somewhere like that, and I have it standing up on a plate rack holder. These I bought. Where did I get these? I don't know. I had to have them, so I bought them. These I had to have as well. Didn't care. They light up. I love them. Adorbs. I also bought this. Oh, what fun. Had to stick it in there. So this is like a little vignette by itself. Santa and... This is Santa there dancing in Gingerbread Village. Then we have another Santa because I bought doubles from Hobby Lobby. And then I bought this from the Dollar Tree and I bought a whole bunch of these and I could not find them. So I only found one. Then I put the Grinch up there. He's sitting on top of the S'more snowman from Hobby Lobby. I thought that was cute. Then, thank you, Susan. I, I knew exactly where I wanted this to go. My gingerbread train. Look at how cute does that look? I mean, it's a lot, and I know, like I said, it's a lot, you know, and pe there's a lot of people that this is just not their jam, and, 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 and that's okay. I have a, you know, you can see I have a very small home to work with, and people probably think, saying, oh, you know, you should go simple, but that's, that's not me. This was, this makes me happy. All right. These two from Hobby Lobby, the gingerbread, home goods. The wreath was a vintage find, and I just stuck these on either side. And then we have like Santa's elf sticking up with the toppers, peppermint mocha. We have another vintage Santa Claus, baking spirits bright. That's from Dollar General. This is from Miss Coco Diva, the Mexican Santa and his wife. We have another gingerbread house. We have another blow mold. That came from Michael's, but I bought it at Ross. And then we have the gingerbread pink tree. And then these two signs are from Family Dollar. And that one up there. It's from Ross from this year. And then I told you guys that I put my bows on the back of my bar stools and I just changed them out with the seasons. And then of course these are my cute little cabbage hutch kids and they're sitting on our Christmas napkins from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that is the bar area. Took a long time to get it all done because each piece has to go. I mean, when you're working with such a small area, it's like each piece has to be in its right place. Like it has to fit, it has to work, and I have to see like how everything's going to carry out. So that's what I did. All right. Over here, I always like this little area. It's cozy. It's cute. Again, I have to be really careful what I put here because this is Fancy's runway. Um, all those ornaments are from Lee. She made them on the little tree. And I threw some white lights. That is a gnome cookie canister I had no idea what to do with. That is a swag. I didn't know what to do with that either. 
And there's our little nativity scene. These are from, I don't know, Dollar Tree, so are the elves. And then the little lantern is from the 99 cent store from a long time ago. And the 99 used to be actually really good. <laughs> I was not impressed at all, you guys, with their um, with their Christmas stuff. It was just like, this is this is it? This is what you're working with? Alrighty. Um, then up there we have Santa's boots. I think that was Walmart. I don't remember. Ray Dunn. And then Joy to the World. I think, I don't remember. I was trying to forget. All right, this is another cookie canister I didn't know what to do with, so I just put it here in the bookshelf. This tin, I think, is Dollar Tree. This one is Dollar General. And then that down there is Believe. And the gnomes are, that's all Dollar Tree. And then this is, um, I want to say, oh, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. This is Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. All right, this is going to conclude our tour. You can see in the back shelf, there's like my Hello Kitties and my Cabbage Patch Kids and all that stuff. But this is my tree. Just simple tree from Walmart for like $49.99 online. And then I bought just a really simple, this time I did not get a big tree skirt and I really like it. I'm going to keep it for Valentine's Day. It is pink, pink sequin. And underneath I have my... My Hello Kitty greeter, Hello Kitty village, Hello Kitty, and I have a pretty Cabbage Patch Kid. And then you guys can kind of see what I did. It's a, I used some of those flowers from Dollar Tree. And at the very top, there's a crown that my sister gave me. She got that at Target. And yeah, just simple. I used some little cheapy weepy garland from, um. Walmart and I didn't use big chunky garland. I just, I just think it would go well. But this is my tree. I look at it every single night when I'm watching television. It makes me happy. And it stays up all year round. It'll soon turn into the Valentine's Day tree. And then it'll be an Easter tree. And then it'll go into 4th of July. And then Halloween. And then we start all over again with Christmas. So... All right, you guys, I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas, and I will, I'm going to start the vlog, I'm going to load this up as a separate video, and the vlog, and the Christmas vlog will probably carry into Christmas Day when I go see my sister, and my, actually my whole family, um, and my sister said I could vlog, I mean, obviously, you guys know I don't show their faces and all that stuff, but I will vlog, and I'll vlog, like, there'll be vlogs, there'll be content for the channel, so please put on your notifications. Check out the Dollar Tree Valentine's Day 2023 car haul, $124 at Dollar Tree. Very, very fun haul. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And now you get to see what I mean, how I'm all stressed out about doing the house. It's just a, it's like a big endeavor. And then to take it down. <laughs> Actually, it's a lot easier to take down than it is to, to get everything going because every year is like, I feel like I need to top what I did the, the previous year, but overall, I'm very happy, and I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed Christmas, and to those of you who have lost loved ones, just know that you're not alone. We're going through our own, our own issue over here, um, on my husband's side, that's all I'm going to say, it's not for me to tell, but, um, you know, other people, this is their first Christmas alone, or just life. So just know that you're not alone, and I know, like, everything on Instagram looks, you know, all happy, and YouTubers are, you know, smiling in every single thumbnail, but we all have real lives. And I always say this at every holiday, don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with spending holidays alone. I have done it numerous times, and like I said, I've either done had a total cheat day diet wise watched movies just had a whole day for myself or I would go and volunteer at the um, shelters and serve food and so forth so um, but and to all the military families thank you so very much for your service you you're all appreciated whether you know you're in the military now or you are 
out of the military, just thank you so, so very much because um, your service is greatly appreciated. And yeah, I hope everyone has a amazing Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. And thank you so very much for being part of this community. I truly appreciate it. I will be back on tomorrow. We don't stop. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching.